Most people enjoy candy, and various forms of it are always a popular treat around Christmas time. Undoubtedly, the most popular form of candy that kids and adults consume during the holiday season is the candy cane. But where did these sweet little treats come from? A candy cane is a cane-shaped hard candy stick. Historically, they are white with red stripes and are peppermint flavored. In recent times, candy canes have been made in a multitude of other flavors and are available throughout the year, but they are specifically associated with Christmas. The first candy canes would hardly be recognizable to those who celebrate Christmas today. The first candy canes were simple white sticks made of sugar, and there was no hooked cane to speak of. No one knows who started making these treats, but by the mid-1600s, they were already widely consumed across Europe. The recognizable hook shape that we all know and love did not appear until 1670. According to legend, a German church choir director gave the candy this shape so that it would resemble a shepherd's crook before distributing them to children at his church service. As the centuries progressed, candy canes began appearing as decorations on Christmas trees. The hook shape proved perfect for hanging the candy on branches. But even into the 1800s, the candy lacked its now distinctive coloring. The characteristic red stripes did not appear on candy canes until the early 1900s. It's not clear who introduced the stripes to the candy, but this is the first time we see evidence of red and white canes. It was also during the early 1900s that candy makers started adding peppermint to the flavoring of the candy. A company called Bob's Candy was the first to distribute candy canes in large numbers, and by the 1950s, they were using a candy cane machine to mass produce the sweets. Today, the candy cane is more popular than it has ever been, and it has become a symbol that is instantly associated with the Christmas holiday.